Hello, it's Mr. Lazy, back on Source Space Engineers. Now, I'm back with another miscellaneous uh, build video once again. And the more, I d the more I'm doing these miscellaneous build videos, it's de it definitely shows you two things about me and engineers. My creative world, firstly, is actually full of... Effectively, things that never get released, never even get finished half the time. I just build something, and for various reasons, I don't go much further with them. And like, there's a, there's a couple of things in here which aren't even complete, and I've even got one just vague prototype um, that I have been experimenting with. Um, so that's what's going on here. Um, and yeah, re and the second thing I've already forgotten. <laughs> Clearly, wasn't important. Anyway, I'm back on the giant. Uh, tower that I've not finished yet either. There's a lot of unfinished things, if you couldn't tell. Now, please excuse the glitchy, flickering uh, thruster thing. That is a visual bug I've, I've discussed in the last video. Um, it's just a thing that happens with the, uh, thru the thruster effects mod not quite working for various reasons. Anyway, this first thing was just a something, once again, uh, I pulled out of me my virtual ass, as it were, and it's basically just some asymmetrical, I suppose, fighter, for a lack of a term. I was really trying to do something a bit sort of, a bit off the wall, quite different, um, not traditional in any, in a lot of aspects uh, to things that I normally build here, and this is kind of one result. Um, you can, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory looking at it, you know, I've got a pretty standard looking, looking fighter cockpit here with then this wing on one side with like uh, missile turrets on that side, the primary engine cell there, and then these like, this weird double curved wing which, other than I suppose some degree of just odd aesthetics, and in this case having an all detector and antenna on it, serves almost no other purpose. Surprisingly though, despite this very weird shape, um, this this thing is actually quite stable. Um, you can see I've only got two landing gear holding this ship up, and oddly enough, it is very well balanced. Like if I just uh, if I just hop in here a second and turn off the uh, the landing gear lock, this ship is pretty happy to sort of you know, if I lag a second, if I just plonk it down, um, and if I don't just f <laughs> prove myself wrong and flip the damn ship over, um, it should. Just about there we go. Um, okay, a little bit back heavy, uh, but it will stand up on its own. So if I just give this thing a quick fly around, it's uh, pretty much as you would kind of expect it. It's just a strange, very strange looking fighter. Um, I don't know if I'll continue with more asymmetrical builds. It's not something. It's not a um, a design choice I do too often. But I don't know. This thing. I thought this thing was at least. Um, I should have put it in the video. I don't know. Something strange. And well, miscellaneous videos are not meant to be the most coherent and ordered videos, like I said, miscellaneous builds. These things often aren't even finished, um, but I need to put something up for the YouTube channel and I'll ignore the fact that I have been busy in real life for once, surprisingly, even though it's been dead uh, recently. I've had a bit of business from my company. I'm still sort of trying to start up a bit in a half-hearted approach, but whatever. I've had some uh, a couple of customers coming back to me with uh, more requests for my services, so I've been actually busy uh, for once, because more often than not I do sit on my fat ass nearly all the time that I'm not quote-unquote working. <laughs> I have a lazy life. But then, with the current situation of the world literally going insane for the wrong reasons, <laughs> you know, what else do I have to do? Um, but anyway, I'm going to try and ignore the COVID situation. Um, anyway, this ship over here, if I flip around, is another bloody Enterprise. Okay, I said this before and I'll say it again. I know I, you know, I've been, you've seen it in the background of many videos, uh, but there is an absolutely massive Enterprise ship that's been, I've been working on for, on and off admittedly now, for a long, long time. That ship will be released soon trademark. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not going to give any specifics, but that ship is... Okay, it's only 83-85% complete, but to be perfectly honest, I have run out of ideas for it, and there are there's about 25% of the saucer section which has nothing in it, and I genuinely have no idea what the hell to shove in it. Uh, you know, e even, even thinking of slightly abstract concepts which don't even make sense in engineers, I just don't know what to do with it. Fundamentally, I'm just going to get things touched up, uh, get this, especially the signs and all that stuff, and eventually that will be released soon. Trademark. Uh, but anyway, I was working on this ship though. Sorry about the rambling here in, uh, in between times, and I was trying, as you can kind of tell, uh, to 
vaguely mimic the shape of the um, the big enterprise I've been working on in a small ship version. And you can also see I've been trying to work with an interior design. Now this is not finished, like a lot of these things, um, but that there's a, the primary reason for that. And every time I make a quote enterprise style ship, there's one big fundamental flaw with everything I build in the with, with this shape is I will often mess up the the ratio I suppose between um, the saucer size versus the size of the uh, body, I guess. And in this case, the saucer is too small. Um, for, for the size of the um, body, I guess. I'm just going to call it the body. Um, so the, the the ratios for size were just all wrong and the interior is a little bit uh, cramped and, like I said, not finished. Um, so I will probably revisit this particular design again and try to make it a little bit better. It'll end up being bigger to make the um, the sizes make a bit more sense. Um, but the interior, as I said, it's not finished, but you can kind of see what I was trying to go for. Um, down in the body here, I was primarily having things like your, your power, your processing, uh, refining, assembly, just basically a bit like engineering, I suppose. Um, now, if I was to use this ladder to hop up here and, you know, trying to get things, you know, trying to get your um, <laughs> your ladder in there was actually, well, the ladder in there was a bit harder than it's worth. Um, but up here, it was meant to be a several room affair thing going on here with different um, sections to the saucer, like round here is um, the main seat, as you can kind of see here, so that would be classified as the bridge. Um, I was more trying to follow on from what I did in the Era C, which is a, a ship that definitely turned out better than this thing. Um, although fundamentally I still had the other problem with this small ship technically is to what actually do I want to fit in each room as you know there's almost you know, short of I suppose doing something interesting with like high degrees of detail in the sense that small blocks are you know you can put a lot more in a in the same space in a small ship uh, I just you know there was, there was a lot of these like side rooms here which never really got finished there's actually just a lot of empty space as I say this thing never really got finished um, but anyway that's no point. I'm not going to bother taking this thing for a test flight. You kind of get the gist of it. Um, it flies okay for it is. It is a bit heavy. Um, but yeah, big ass uh, ship there. Okay, carrying on. Uh, let's go to this thing. And this, let me stress this out, this is basically a very bare bones prototype. Um, it's ugly, it's horrible, but this is the concept I've been trying out here. Um, I, you know, in comparison to the um, this asymmetrical ship here, where I had the one big engine nacelle as the primary, you know, uh, th thrust output, I suppose. I, I mean, okay, I know there's a large ion thruster, but whatever. Um, I was going to go with this one big engine pack kind of idea. Now, you can kind of see what I was trying to do here. I, I was trying to, in, in the roughest possible um, uh, respect here, merge large ship and small ship parts, which is of, is of course possible, um, at least I was using the rotor method. I don't even know if there is even any other methods, but, um, you know, small rotor head on a large uh, rotor is what I was trying to do here. And surprisingly, this thing does kind of work. You might think it's very unstable considering, um, and I, you know, this is engineers and, you know, subgrids are a bit of a problem. Uh, but, you know, you can see the actual side wall here is right up against uh, the side of the hydrogen tank. So it does, you know, the, the grid doesn't just explode. Like, I can get this thing into the air. Because um, obviously using a large ship thruster, this thing would have some absolutely absurd amount of horsepower. Um, so if I just get this thing in the air here. And the only, and the, this is the only other issue, is like even if you try to, you know, balance things out, you know, I'm still having to continuously uh, uh, apply, you know, up, f up thrust to actually try to counteract things. Um, and sadly, you know, I can't operate this thruster short, um, like using the standard, you know, your, uh, you know, standard movement keys, I have to use thrust override, so, you know, it, if I actually had that turn off, and if I just turn this thing up to maximum here, just to very quickly show you, this thing, this thing has an absurd amount of power, <laughs> and I'll ignore the fact that I have a thruster pointing me in reverse, uh, that shouldn't actually be on at this exact second, but this thing will go very quickly, and actually having this huge thruster on such a small ship is very comical in itself, um, but you kind of get my point here. I was just I was just trying to merge the two things. I was probably only half successful, um, and I just kind of realized <laughs> I didn't have full control and smashed the ship. Never mind. That was only a prototype, and I would have destroyed it anyway. So anyway, <laughs> so prototypes aside, that was just a weird thing I was playing around with. This ship here, the final thing I'm going to show you, um, you know, I just please excuse the strobing uh, thrusters, like I said. 
Now, this was something I was playing around with, or the idea of playing around with a ship like this. Um, there's a ship on the workshop, which is not something, not something I've made, uh, I think called the Prometheus. Uh, and it's a, basically a big cylindrical ship, much longer than this. Uh, but its key feature is the fact that it's very open, as you can kind of see here. Like, there wasn't... I, I think the Prometheus didn't even have any, quote, interior, like, uh, you know, pressurised environments. So, you know, this... My version did have a pressurised environment, although, as you can kind of see, I, have once again, never finished it. This ship is actually nearly done. I kind of got lazy towards the end here, and, uh... Did I not have any shields there? Because the, those landing gears are broken, it seems, but, uh... Uh, but anyway, yeah, I was just I was just playing with the whole open design here, and actually, uh, fun fact: this is a completely hydrogen-powered ship. I, for whatever reason, decided to go down that route. Um, we are completely hydrogen-powered, so we have hydrogen engines, obviously giving me the electricity that I need. Um, and this ship would definitely happily eat, um, you know, shit tons of ice because that's literally what it uses as a power source. Um, but say, just a concept of a ship. So I mean, I'll just give you a quick, a quick rundown here of what's going on. This is the main hangar, as you can see. Um, I apparently have broken the floor here. Uh, that's okay. I wasn't aware that I had broken the floor. Okay, this the, right where I'm standing was supposed to be the uh, <laughs> uh, supposed to be the jump drive. That was basically supposed to sit here. Yeah, I really wasn't aware that I had broken the floor, um, and even broken a bunch of these. How badly did I? Do? I just landed this ship like a little while ago. Then I apparently I broke a, a bunch of things. Um, anyway. The down here is just bunches of gyros that just extend pretty much right to the bottom of the uh, main section, which I'll get to in a second. Just run my way around here once again. Sadly, you can't. This doesn't seem to work too uh, easily anymore. Is the um, you could um, use this as like an extreme slope, um, just to sort of get two blocks elevation in a one block uh, length area. But all right, whatever. Um, here. So apart from the small corridor, and we're now up here. Now this is just the main staircase that's in the in the at atmospherically pressurized uh, environment here. There's supposed to be these extra corridors and rooms uh, that go to various places, which, like I said, not really finished. So we have empty rooms going on here. If I go all the way up to the top, uh, the very very top, up here and back here, which apparently I'm missing a catwalk, is the flight seat, the bridge, I suppose. Uh, that's where that is. Uh, let's hop on down and to the back here. Now, just an upper section of more of the exposed region. Um, just hydrogen engines, hydrogen tanks, um, catwalks to the various uh, systems. You can quite clearly tell this is like an exploration ship. Definitely not meant for combat considering, well, the lack of armaments for one thing and the incredibly exposed nature, but then that was mostly its design aspect. It was meant to be very open and uh, you can access everything pretty much, yeah, with minimal effort. Um, so let's hop on down here, go through here, and round through this door. Uh, with a small cargo storage area, which apparently I never made another exit to this. Okay, that's um, <laughs> remembering the fact that remembering the fact that the ship is actually very incomplete. Okay, let's just go down here, through here, uh, down through here, and then up here. Right, so this is going towards the front of the ship. If I go all the way up here. Um, this lower section is more. Um, more generators, engines, and the like. Uh, upstairs again. Um, in this case, we have assembly. This is one of the NPCs again. Uh, back behind assembly is refining, as you can kind of tell, four big refineries. Uh, these stairs just go to the back end of those generators I showed a second ago. And then if we go upstairs again, um, basically life supports with a bit of storage. That's basically this section. Um, and that's pretty much this ship. Um, like I said, not complete, but. You know, more just messing around with the um, the design of the Prometheus um, that I'm. That I, I should probably find. Hang on, let me actually find that ship I've been quoting. Uh, just very quickly scroll down. I have way too many things subscribed to. Shows you how many things I've built. As many things. Yeah, here we are. This guy here. Uh, can I view on Workshop? I can. Now OBS isn't working on that. Damn it. Okay. Um. Well, you can see you can see the blueprint. I've clicked on it. And you can search it up. It's uh, it's a completely vanilla ship. It's been how old is this ship actually? It is four years old, so a little bit dated, and definitely could do with some upgrading. But uh, nonetheless, that was the ship I was using as a rough reference for this design. And uh, yeah, that's that ship. So uh, anyway, yes, um, that's my prototypes. Uh, even though I've blown up one <laughs> on, on video. Um, that ship there and a couple of those little guys up here and this tower I will eventually finish. It's meant to be some kind of like 
just trading outposts slash just very tool base. Um, it's pretty much a shell at the moment, so that's this is just that's as far as I got with it. Um, but yeah, let's say I'm gonna shut up now. See, so yeah, let me know your things. These random objects down below in the comments. Just before I go, actually. Going back to that ship I blew up, um, the the <laughs> large and small ship hybrid thing. Have any of you guys, when you build ships, have you actually ever tried to you know make a ship with basically both large and small ship components uh, like that? And I don't I don't mean like a large ship with like um, oh t take my outpost theta for example, like small things where I have I had a signpost. Uh, that was using the small ship letter blocks. Like, I'm not talking about little things. I'm talking about, you know, a large and small ship merged almost to a 50-50 degree. Um, like, a lot of systems could be in the large ship and then other things are in the small ship. Like, I don't know. If any of you, any of you guys done any kind of crazy builds like that, let me know in the comments because I'm de actually dead curious. I said, that prototype was just me pissing around. I was just seeing was it even possible. So, yes, but not very practical. At least that one was. So, I say, uh, like I said, uh, let me know all those things down below in the comments. Link to the Discord is in the description as always. And you know the drill by now. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.